Hi, welcome to Math After Hours with Miss Austin. I'm Miss Austin, a licensed math teacher, here to help you with your math questions. Today we are looking at Gauss-Jordan elimination and reduced row echelon form. We're going to use this today to solve a linear system of equations. Reduced row echelon form looks like this. So it's where we turn the left hand side into the identity matrix. An identity matrix has ones along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. If you can turn the left hand side into the identity matrix, your solution to the system will show up on the right. So what we want to do is if we're starting with these two equations, first just create our augmented matrix. So what we do is we stick our coefficients in the left hand side. Our coefficients are 2, 4, 1, 1. And then on this other side we have the constants 10 and 3. You can either use a dashed or a solid line to separate those two. So if this is our augmented matrix, we want to turn it into this one right here so we can get our solutions to show up on the right hand side. The first thing I want to do is get that one in the top left hand corner. Right now it's a two. There are a few different ways to do this. Sometimes it works to divide by a constant. In this case it does because we have two, four, and 10 which are all divisible by two. But that doesn't always work because sometimes when you divide by a constant you'll create fractions and you don't want to be dealing with fractions in a matrix if you don't have to. So if you'll look here we can divide by that 2 however if we did 2 minus 1 we could get a 1 right here. So what if I did row 1 minus row 2 and I use that to change the first row. So that means I am not changing the second row of this matrix. I'm only changing the first row. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, and 10 minus 3 is 7. Now, with these row operations, you can add rows together, subtract rows, you can multiply or divide by a constant, and you can switch rows. So if I look at this new matrix now, I want this number to be a zero. It actually works to do subtraction again because one minus one is zero. And this time we're going to use that to change the second row. So row one minus row two to change row two. So row one is staying one, three, seven, and then we'll have 1 minus 1, which is 0, 3 minus 1, which is 2, and 7 minus 3, which is 4. All right, so we have two of the numbers we need. The next thing we need to do is make this number a 1. Now earlier I said from the first row we could have divided by 2 if we wanted to, but we decided to subtract instead. Here's another example of where we can divide by a number to get the one that we need. So in this row, we want a one here, and I can get that by dividing by two. And four is also divisible by two, so that will not create any fractions for us. So I'm going to do row two divided by two to change that second row. So row one is still one, three, seven, and now the second row we have 0, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we're really close. The only thing we have left to do is turn that 3 into a 0. So what could we do to make this a 0? Well, think about how you would do this with an equation. With this 1 right here, what if this was a negative 3? Well then I'd be able to add these two together and get a zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take row one and then add to it 
negative 3 times that second row, and we'll use that to replace the first row. So the second row is not changing now, and I'm going to do this math off to the side. So we have row 1, which is 1, 3, 7, and I'm adding, adding that to negative 3 times row 2, which is 0, negative 3, negative 6. So adding those, we have 1, 0, 1. And we're pretty much done. This right here is reduced row echelon form. The left-hand side is the identity matrix, which means right over here is our solution to the system. That is telling us that x equals 1 and y equals 2. Because if we were to write the equation that results from this row, what this is saying is 1 times x plus 0 times y equals 1. And that's just x equals 1. This row is saying 0 times x plus 1 times y equals 2, so y equals 2. So the ordered pair is 1 comma 2, but you can also just write it as x equals 1, y equals 2. And that is how to use Gauss-Jordan elimination to solve a linear system by getting it into reduced row echelon form. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions you would like me to do, please comment them below and like and subscribe.